Hey there. In this quick start guide, we're going to go over the black box reader digital meth residue testing device. This small mobile measurement device will help us perform a semi-quantitative and qualitative analysis of the Acumeth test cassette. This is useful because it will help us to determine a precise amount of meth residue that may or may not be present in the tested sample. But before we go on to how to use the device to read the Acumeth test cassette, let's go ahead and install the batteries and set the date and the time in the device itself. The black box reader device is powered by three lithium batteries. It's recommended that you use gloved hands to insert them into the box. Use a smooth edge tool, such as a coin, here I have a quarter, to turn the battery cover counterclockwise until it stops. Remove the cover and set it aside. Now I'm going to insert the three lithium batteries into the battery compartment, noting the correct positive and negative signs. So here I'm inserting each battery into the compartment and making sure that the plus sign, the positive end, is facing outwards. When all three batteries are inside the battery compartment, go ahead and return the battery cover to its place and close it in a clockwise direction until it stops. To turn on the black box, press the button briefly and an audible alarm will sound along with a visual display indicating that the box is on. Go ahead and set the date and the time. Press the button twice, the year, date, and time will start to cycle on the display. Press and hold the central button so that the year begins to flash. Scroll through the different year values and select your current year. Press and hold down on the button and the black box device will store that year as the current year. Next, it will move on to the month and date and I will select my month and again with the days. So here you can see I am scrolling and I am selecting my current date. And I'll repeat the same process for the time, scrolling through and setting the hours and the minute for the current time. Once you've made your minute selection, the date and time will have been successfully stored in the black box device, and you will see the display show the word OK. OK, now that the black box reader is turned on, let's go over how to perform an immediate reading. As you can see, our black box device is on, and we are going to pick up our RFID card to prepare it to be synchronized with the device. Briefly press the central button and the screen will change to RFID. Now we are going to tap our RFID card on the top of the box. Once the beep is heard and the menu changes from RFID to test, the box is synchronized and ready to perform a reading measurement. On the bottom of the black box device, you should see the glass that the device looks through to read our test. What we're going to do is we're going to place our cassette in the cavity of the bottom of the black box. It should fit snug just like a piece in a jigsaw puzzle would. Place your black box reader and test cassette on a level horizontal surface area and press the central button to run the measurement. The display will show the word run until it results with the concentration of methamphetamine residue that may or may not have been detected. Here you can see our black box returns the value of less than 50 nanograms, which is below the target standard for methamphetamine residue concentration, indicating that our test can be considered negative. Now we can press the button again and we will return back to the on menu where we can perform another test measurement if desired. For troubleshooting the use of your black box device, you'll want to navigate two main potential errors that could come up while using the device. 
The first is the error message or ERR message where the device cannot properly read the information on the RFID card. Go back again through the RFID synchronization process by having the menu RFID being shown and tapping the RFID card on the black box and you shouldn't get the error anymore. The other common message is seeing the date display. Usually this happens when the Acumeth cassette has expired or if the date is not properly set in the black box device itself. If you go to run a test and you see the date message, go back and check the internally set time in the device and update it if necessary. This should resolve any issues with this error. While the black box device displays test results in nanograms, all state legal standards are measured in micrograms. So you'll need to reference the target standard for your state when interpreting the results of the black box device. You can find standard specific details that fit your needs by referencing the link in the description below this video and by visiting bestmethtest.com slash collections slash digital meth residue testing device for more information on state legal standards. When you're done, you won't have to worry about manually turning off the black box device as it will automatically shut off after 50 seconds of not being used. That means there should be plenty of charge left for any other Acumeth tests that you may want to perform while you're on the go. Thank you for watching this video and best of luck with your meth residue test results.